modders are at it yet once again giving us players things that some of us never imagined we'd even have in the game. Today I have a little bit of mod news as well as a mod review because I do have the mod. So I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Panda Sama Sims 4 CC and Ice Mun Mun for sending me this mod. Very grateful, very, very, very happy. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Oh, and also Mizoryuki. So this mod by those three talented mod creators, currently an early access release will be free on March 4th. This cow, yes, a cow mod, guys. We can now have a functional cow in the game thanks to this mod. It includes the following features. By Dairy Cow, seven swatches available. You can rename the cow. You can feed it hay or special seeds by opening the treat bag for cow. You can collect milk. Milk varies depending on what you feed the cow. Oh my God, that is really cool. You can sell the cow, drink milk, which gives you many different special moodlets, talk to the cow and build slash destroy your friendships, pet the cow, hidden interaction, which unlocks when friendship is higher than 30. You can tell it a secret, hidden interaction, which unlocks when friendship is higher than 50 and meat collect must be enabled through shift click. That allows you to send your cow away and collect its meat. Okay, but does the cow return? Are there slaughterhouses or does the cow actually return? I'm hoping that the cow returns because this is the Sims. I'm trying to get my meat, but also still keep the cow, you know? No harm done to the cow. Additional objects that can be found in build slash buy mode. Cow, of course. Treat bag for cow, which allows you to collect 18 seeds upon opening. There are 15 types of seeds in total. Three coconut, plasma fruit, soybeans are seeds from expansion packs. You must own the expansion packs for them to appear. These seeds can also be planted in your garden, which allow you to harvest after the plant matures. Okay. Hay, which you can buy and feed your cow to get plain milk. Hay bale, hay pile, both allow you to collect hay. If your cow is placed on grass, it will automatically eat when it's hungry and will not die from starvation. If your cow is not placed on grass, you need to feed it manually or place hay bale or hay pile within nine tiles of the cow and click on the hay to enable auto eating. Then your cow would automatically eat as if they are on grass. This is literally some EA type stuff, guys. Like this is literally EA level of detail when making, you know, like an interactive object. Like the attention to detail with this is like crazy. I'm honestly really excited. Milk canister, milk bottle allows you to have a quick drink of milk. Awesome, awesome. And additional information. All interactions are available for child to adult sims. So you can even send the children out to interact with the cows. That's so cute. Cows can be fed every four hours. You can collect milk immediately after feeding, your sim will likely autonomously do so. If your cow is full, you will not be able to feed it. Hover your mouse over the cow to check its stats. If your sim has friendship with a cow and the cow is starving and not placed on grass, your sim will autonomously feed it with any seed or hay they have in their inventory. Collecting hay gives your sim special moodlet fresh hay. Purchasing new cow gives moodlet new cow. If your friendship is above 70 with a cow and you send the cow away from me, you will get moodlet lost a friend so it never comes back no that makes me sad petting cow gives moodlet divine bovine drinking milk gives you a number of different moodlets depending on the type of milk try them out cow will die of old age eventually you will get a notification once your cow is getting close to the end of its days potential bug also known as a bug only i'm experiencing the energy of the cow turns into none and it won't go to sleep if this happens just shift click on the cow to refill energy and it should bring it back onto the right track. Okay, so we're gonna download this. I am going to get uh, my game loaded up and uh, we're gonna, you know, test out some of this stuff and just take a look and see what it looks like in the game. If you guys wanna download it, there will be a link pinned in the comments section below. Sorry for saying that, like, I wasn't sure. I was just thinking to myself, is this even gonna be out when I put this video up? But I think that it actually is out right now on Patreon Early Access. And it will become available for free March 
4th. Oh, just a little bit after my birthday. All right, let's get the game set up. Oh, there we go. So really all you have to do is just sort objects by function by custom content. You just hit this little triangle over here, go to content and custom content. And it's gonna basically just sort out like whatever mods and stuff you have. If you have more mods, it's gonna show more stuff that is, you know, completely expected. But look, I have the cow. Start your farming dreams by purchasing a cute cow or an entire herd. Just place the sign down in a grassy area to encourage grazing or your barn with hay if you prefer for them to be indoors and choose from several color and pattern options. Name, talk to, pet, and feed them a variety of treats to collect different types of milk that you can sell, cook with, or enjoy a fresh bottle of. Cooking with milk requires SCCO. What is SCCO? Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and think about that too long. Oh, it places the sign? <gasps> That's cool. Okay, I'm sorry about it being winter time out. Um, I sincerely apologize. This is like the only save file that I kind of have ready to show off in a video. All the other ones I kind of don't want to show in a video because they're a hot mess right now. And go figure it's winter time in here. And I know there's probably a cheat to change it, but I do not feel like doing that. So there's a tree bag for the cow. We'll get a couple of those. What else? We have some hay. We'll put some hay. Oh my God, look, it's actually covered with snow and everything. Hay bale? Wait a minute, is this Patchy the Scarecrow's base? I think that's Patchy the Scarecrow's base. That's funny. All right, let's go into live mode. Is live mode, not live mode, by the way. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. All right, I think um, he's the only one awake, so he can come outside. We'll purchase a cow, white cow with brown patches, white cow with reddish brown patches, white cow with black patches, white cow with gray patches, dark brown cow, russet cow, tan cow. Ooh, let's get the white cow with the black patches. And I think they're all, yeah, they're all 1,500 simoleons. <gasps> Whoa, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look, there's a heart. There's a heart on the cow's head. Are you serious? Wow, cow is too full at the moment. Ask about day, name, talk to y'all out. Let's name. Your name is going to be, mm, think Matt, Betty. Betty the cow. No, I didn't name it. I didn't name it. Hold on, I clicked X by accident. There we go, Betty the cow, that's your name. Yell, we're not gonna yell at. Let's talk to the cow, we're gonna ask cow about its day. We should get a moodlet in here. Uh, we didn't get it, oh, we did get a moodlet. Here it is, new cow from acquiring a new cow. It looks like a new cow has just joined the household. Now, what to name it? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So do I just wait for the cow to eat on its own, I guess? It says the cow is fully fed, or was it? Wait, 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 oh, feed coconut. So you need three coconuts, you can feed it the cocos, chickpeas, cherries. Oh, that is so cool. Feed hay, feed almonds. Oh my God, look at all the options to feed. And of course, in order to do it, you need to have these things. So what I'll do is I'll go into build buy and I'll, you know, buy a bunch of this stuff and then I'll place it in the Sims inventory and then we should be able to do it. We're gonna go into build buy mode and get some of that stuff out. We'll go into objects, we'll sort by custom content. And what else do we have here? Cocoa beans, oh, chickpeas. Let's do the chickpeas instead. Here, we'll place. Um, how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten will be okay. Put these in the inventory. Do, 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 do. This is a little process, sorry. Takes a little bit of time. All right, we have ten chickpeas in our Sims inventory, so now we should actually be able to feed it. There we go, feed chickpeas. So let's demonstrate this a little bit. See what this is all about. This is so cool, guys. This is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, the animations. Did you see the food dropping from the cow's mouth. You just fed the cow. They can be fed after four hours. So looks like this one is uh, pretty full for a little bit. Grab chickpea milk. Is he gonna kneel down or is there a stool that pops up? What's gonna, oh my gosh. I love the act of comforting before you milk. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Who needs a farming pack when we got modders, y'all? Oh, this is so freaking cool. The milk canister can be found in Henry's inventory. Okay, add a favorite. So what happens if you open it? Do they just start drinking it? Or, oh, it turns into chickpea milk. Oh, and you can place those in the fridge or you can drink them. All right, let's drink one of them. Oh, I love the canister. That's really cool. Drink that. That's cool. So what we'll do is we'll place the other four in the, or the other five in the fridge.
fridge. And we should have some sort of moodlet feed the cow from feeding cow. I just fed the cow. Now I can collect some milk. And when he's done drinking this, he should get another moodlet. I'm gonna speed three through this. There we go. We did get another moodlet right here. It's chivalrous chickpea, delicious, nutritious, and plant-based milk. What more can a Sim want? So what do I have to do to um, get meat from the cow? Do I have to wait for a certain amount of time or what exactly happens with that? I'm honestly really curious. Well, in the meantime, we'll come outside. We'll ask the cow about its day. We'll talk to the cow. I don't want to yell at the cow because that'll be me, but I also kind of want to see, you know, what that interaction is like. So we're going to do it just for the sake of, you know, demonstrative purposes, but I do not encourage yelling at cows. Don't go out yelling at cows, please. Not very nice. Don't do that. Oh, that is so cute. I love this. Having a whole conversation with it. Oh my gosh, the cow actually has eyelids. Look, what? So when they're sleeping, will you know that they're sleeping? Like, will they have their eyes closed? Okay, so it says apparently if you hover over the cow, it shows, oh, I see. Energy, okay. Milk, low. And hunger, okay. So I can feed it or, because I have to wait because it's still not giving me the option to do so. Here, we'll ask about day and we'll talk to the cow again. We'll put it on speed three. I just want to see what happens when you, you know, send your cow away to get meat or whatnot. I want to see what happens with that. So I guess they can eat this hay. They just have to be, you know, within range of it. I don't think they can move though. I think they are stuck just standing there. It would be cool if they could walk around, but you know, I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. All right. So what I'm going to have my Sim do is we are going to, why is that music on? Turn that off. We're going to have uh, the Sim take care of some errands inside the house and then go to sleep. And then in the morning, <gasps> the cow is, okay. I lied. I lied. The cow is moving. What? Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. So I guess it does move, but just within that block that we placed, that giant square. That is so cool. So they don't stand there and go to sleep. They actually lay down and go to sleep. I love this. This is so freaking cool. Okay, go to sleep and then, um, oh, you want to eat first. Okay. And then in the morning, we'll see what's up with the cow. We'll see if we have any, you know, different interactions. Okay. The cow got up. So it looks like they probably just go to like lay down in the corner and then they wake up and just stand where they were previously. I guess that's what they're doing here. You can go to sleep right after him as well. There we go. <gasps> this is so cool. I feel so bad for this cow. It's out here like blizzard conditions. Like there's this huge snowstorm and his cow's just chilling out here. <laughs> feel bad for him. I'm sorry. <gasps> Wait, what happened to my cow? My cow just disappeared. Now it's saying purchase cow. What happened to my cow? It literally just, did you guys see that? It just randomly happened in the middle of the night. I was on speed 30 and it just vanished. I don't know why, but it did. Oh yeah, we'll name you Pearl. That's a good name. I wonder why that happened. I wonder if that had anything to do with the weather or if that just, you know, happened on its own. Maybe it was a glitch. I don't know. I really don't know. Sun's coming up. Oh, look at the butterflies. It's really pretty. All right, it looks like we can go feed the cow. So we'll feed the chickpeas, come outside and handle that. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. And then we'll grab chickpea milk. I love how they set up the bucket. That is so cool. <sighs> Oh, I love this. I love this. Well, it looks like we're not going to demonstrate, you know, sending the cow away for meat. And maybe it's a good thing because I don't want to upset people in this video. So I don't know, like, if there's an interaction or an animation for that. And I don't want to upset people. So maybe it's a good thing we won't show that off. If you want to see it, definitely get the mod. It's for early access on Patreon. And this is just exciting. This is just so, 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 so exciting. Let me know what you think of this. Like, what are your thoughts on this, guys? Like, this is, this is so cool. This is really so cool. I'm proud of the modders and the modding community. This is just, this is fantastic. Um, I encourage you to download it. It isn't available yet. It'll be available for free March 4th, I think it was. It's on yes. Patreon for early access download. I'll have a link pinned in the comment section below. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you for clicking and watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. It really, really, really helps me out. And I will see you all next time. Say bye to the cows. Bye everyone. So long.